Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm Wicked. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we're going to look at a modlet called Camo's Karak Hammer. And this is also another modlet that is part of a bigger mod. And I will be showing that in a later video. First things first, we're going to look at the hammer itself. I have it right here and we're gonna see how it works I have a tier 6 and they do start out as a tier 1 and I will be showing you how to craft it but first let's see how well this handles first we're going to look at our little feral here See if it puts her on her butt. Huh? One. Two. That was regular swing. Here's power swing. And you heard something right there. So that was a feral. This is a regular Gator boy and there it is there's the proc one regular and this is another feral power swing power swing regular swing over here, we have a feral copper power swing, and let's get these guys to me. Come on, guys. Right there. Okay. This one is a radiated, and we're going regular swing and proc. Power swing. Power swing. Mind you, I do not have very many points into anything melee, but still, it's doing a pretty good amount of damage. Just takes a little bit more on the radiated and the ferals. There we go. And this guy is a feral white. And down he goes. Okay, Missy, come to me. Oh, wait, dude. You still alive? Oh, you took that like a champ, didn't you? Playing dead. That's that's funny. Are, are you done? No? No? Okay, you want more? There you go. Okay, power swing. Oh, uh, now you're dead. Stay. Okay, Missy, come over to me. Stop hitting my frickin' wall. Hey. Oh, where'd you come from? Wait, I thought I dealt with you. Come on. Zombies rising from the dead. <laughs> Again. <laughs> The power swing. Oh, she was a regular. Okay, so that's how well this works with barely any points. I'll show you my points. And right here, I got one point into Skull Crusher. And Skull Crusher is the skill that you need for this hammer. And I, I think that did a pretty good job. Alright. So, next thing we're going to look at is what can the hammer use? Well, I was looking at the mods and everything, and when you modify it, you can use the grips, you can use the weighted head, the structural brace, 
the burning shaft and you can use either the fortified grip or you can use the ergonomic grip you can only use one or the other and then you can use either the rad remover but you can't use the hunter mod on top of the rad remover you can use one or the other just like the grips and then the mod itself comes with two mods this one is the first one but it will not let you use both so you can only use one or the other and it can be dyed so let's take a look at that and that's what it looks like there we go okay and this color blue is of course my signature color and is not included now we're going to look at what we need to craft it so here since we have one point into skull crusher that opens up both mods for the hammer and the hammer itself as you can see if i did not have a point into it this would be only tier one since i have one point it brought it up to tier two it takes one minute to craft you need 20 forged steel 10 short iron pipes 10 duct tape 100 wood and one stun baton to craft the hammer itself now for the first mod you need 10 forged steel 5 short iron pipes 5 duct tape and 50 wood and for the second mod you need the same so that is all you need to craft this item and to bring it up in level is to bring up your skill level this is what you have to do and once again this is added into the game if you don't want it at a higher tier you can just craft a level one and not have any points in or a schematic to make it and again this is only a mod lit and is part of a bigger mod and that I will be showing in my later video. So if you enjoyed this little walkthrough of this modlet, I will be leaving the link down in the description so you can check it out for yourself and show the creator some love. So if you enjoyed this, give that like button a little love, tap, share, subscribe, become part of the Wicked family so you don't miss out on any upcoming content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!